Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, the earth has been shaking, especially in the area of Asia, all the way from India to the northern border of Mongolia. There was a 5.1 earthquake by Kishwar, India, and a magnitude 6.7 Mongolia. Now, the area of Kishmer, where the 5.1 earthquake is currently occupied by India. Both India and Pakistan are nuclear countries. The red line that I drew out is where one of the reports came from on EMSC. One that was 10 kilometers from where the earthquake occurred says it was terrible. Another one, it was so terrible, also 10 kilometers. Another one here says that it was just some had pulled you down from the bed, evidently would toss you out of the bed or pulled you from the bed. Uh, this one here is 67 kilometers. That's the red line that I drew out. It says India occupied Kashmir. You know, they're for fighting over that border area. This earthquake occurred at 7.02 p.m. local time. And many people panicked and rushed out of the uh, buildings and homes into the streets. Another report there in India, from India, it says, uh, Felt earthquake as my ceiling fan started moving. Uh, felt a mild earthquake. Now, they were 137 kilometers from the location. 138 kilometers southeast. Now, that would be about 85, almost 86 miles. It says a bit stronger. The glass in the cupboard was shaking. Uh, felt the earthquake 144 kilometers, which would be 89 and a half miles. Um, 181 kilometers, said they felt a little jerk. Felt this in Pakistani Kashmir. Like I said, they're, they're fighting over this border with Pakistan. 210 kilometers, which would be 130 miles northwest from where the earthquake occurred. Uh, slightly felt inside first floor of home. 237 kilometers. Sitting inside the house on the first floor slightly felt now what's going on using google earth i'll just kind of zoom out here the red lines here drawn out by google earth are the borders and we're gonna bring this down because down here we have india and what's occurring here is we have the continents the indian plate moving kind of a mostly northern direction a slightly north east direction where um, yeah the continents are colliding India and the Eurasian plate okay and then the um, other earthquake which was a magnitude 6.7 says here in Mongolia 170 people reported feeling this earthquake which would be up over here they've been having a lot of earthquakes there so using Google Earth um, here's the location to the north this is the 5.1 um, yeah, I drew out a whole bunch of significant stuff here, but this is location of that 6.7. And we got another fault line that goes through here. This is a real interesting area. Along this fault line right here was a magnitude 8.3 that occurred in 1905. It was only, um, 15 kilometers in depth, and they say it was one of the Four largest intercontinental earthquakes ever recorded. This fault line is 375 kilometers in length. You can see too we have movement uh, going up towards the north slightly east. So that would be about 233 miles in length for this fault zone. And we'll go into where all these earthquakes have been happening. I marked out the earthquakes that were of a magnitude 2.5 or greater. And you can see that's like 4.7, 4.4, 4.5, 5.0. Um, there's that 6.8, another 4.7. 13 earthquakes within the last week. And I'll pull this over a little bit so you can see them. We've got a 4.5, 4.4, 4.7, another 4.7, 4.4. 4.8, 4 4.5, 5.0, um, 4.4, 4.5, another 
of 5.2 and the original 6.7. Now, according to USGS, the likelihood of um, damage would be very little because this is a very remote location. The population is, um, yeah, very sparse. I imagine if they have another 8.3 earthquake or greater in this region, yeah, there would be damage in some of the um, cities. Let me bring this out a little bit. They're close to this location. And then going back to the earthquakes that are occurring there in India. Now there was a 6.3 here that occurred on July uh, 22nd of last year. Let me bring this out. We also have um, a 6.2 and a 6.3. That was um, June 25th of last year where EMSC said it was a magnitude 6.2. Let me close this out and then we'll go back down over here. Yeah, people are wondering what the heck is going on with India. Well, the continents are moving. Today is January 12th, 2021, and there's been eight earthquakes so far this year of a magnitude 6 point or greater. There was a 6.7 in Mongolia, a 6.1 in Vanuatu, um, a 6.1 in Argentina, another one in Vanuatu of 6.1, 6.3 in New Zealand, a 6.1 in Indonesia, and then we got a 6.2, Kermadec Islands, that's down by uh, New Zealand and Australia. Oh, and then we got, let me pull it down. A 6.1. Eight earthquakes so far this year. And I talked about how they're increasing. Last year there was 112 earthquakes between a 6.0 and a 6.9. Uh, 7.0 to a 7.9. There was nine. And there was nothing greater than that. Here you can see we're going back to 2010. And this is on Wikipedia. As I said, we're only just now into the second week of the first month of the year. And if you take 112 earthquakes for the entire year, so that would be about nine, slightly more, nine magnitude 6.9s earthquakes a month. And we've already had eight so far this month, when for the entire month, the average is slightly over nine. There hasn't been any 7.0 to 7.9 so far this year, but there was only nine for the entire year last year and you know on average they have it looks like between one and two between 2010 and 2019 and many of you know that USGS loves to downgrade the earthquakes and I have noticed that EMSC will often downgrade the earthquake after they posted it to a lower magnitude to go along with USGS but if USGS says it was a larger earthquake, um, I have not seen EMSC raise the magnitude of what they originally stated. They'll downgrade them, but they don't upgrade them. Now for the felt report for the earthquake, the uh, 6.7 they had up there in Mongolia, um, 149 kilometers away, which would be about 92 and a half miles away, it says here, it felt like everything would collapse now. It was shaking very much within a minute. Uh, things began falling from shells. Um, strong horizontal swing. Let's see here. 218 kilometers away from where that earthquake occurred. So that would be 135 and a half miles away. It says around 5.30 a.m. started shaking my bed and I woke up. Um, another one, very long. Let's see, 0.5. Um, at 5.15, 5.20 in the morning, I was shaking. Uh, let's see here. Uh, shook for about 30 seconds. At first quiet, and then stronger. Okay, and then we got, there was several aftershocks. The second one being the stronger. 268 kilometers away, which would be 166, got those sixes, 666 six, six and a half miles. Um, that one said there were several aftershocks. Okay, I read that one already. Um, 
was shaking longer than the first. A uh, slight wiggle, approximately soon it will be the norm. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I live on the first floor, woke up at 5.43 a.m. due to the earthquake that lasted for about a minute. The tremors were smoother than the last time on De than on December uh, 10th. Uh, very scary. Let's see. Continuously. Has shaken three times already. Um, it was scary. You know, they're 272 kilometers away from where it happened. And that would be 169 miles from where the earthquake occurred. Um, it seemed further than the last time. A uh, long and slow rock. I gotta agree that these earthquakes are going to become the norm. Here we got one in Japan that occurred yesterday, a magnitude 5.9. They got this one recently posted. Let me pull that up for you. Um, Indonesia 5.9. I talked about how the ring of fire is just rocking and rolling and how these continents are just, um, yeah, on the move. As the Earth's magnetic field weakens more and more all the time, um, yeah, we're going to see an increase in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. And this also does affect our weather patterns. People are wondering why we got adverse weather in different locations. And yeah, it affects the weather, the jet stream also. So if any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. Always be prepared best you can for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.